Hello class, welcome back to today's section of Intensive Calculus course. In this class, we're going to look at a calculator trick. We have a way of using the calculator to solve every limit problem. We did limits in our previous class and in this class, I'm going to show you how to simply use your calculator to solve every limit problem. Kindly watch this video to the end and if this is your first time visiting the channel, don't forget to like subscribe and also share let's begin so i have a limit question is the limit as it approaches to of root of x plus 2 minus 2 all over x minus 2 as x approaches to in my previous class i may mention that the limit of every function as it approaches a certain number can be done in two ways or so it has two parts so we can approach that particular number from the left side we can also approach that particular number from the right side that for that reason you choose the left side limit then after you do for the right side limit when these two are equal then you see the limit of the function exists if not the limit of the function does not exist so let's quickly go into what you have for today's video so what you are going to do is you take your calculator get your calculator alongside with you so that whatever you do you follow and you understand every part of this video so you just punch the function back to square root. Now we are going to choose a number which is very close to two. So first of all, you take the right limit two plus. Which number is greater than two but very very close to two? You assume two point zero 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 one for first time. So this two point zero zero one is very close to two but greater than two. So you put two point zero 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 one then plus two minus 2 all over 2.0001 minus 2 we press equal to and that is giving me 0 0.24999 what you're going to do again is you add more zeros on the calculator for confirmation that is it should be very close to 2 to see if we are right so you put 2 another zero so that becomes 4 zeros and now you are going to get 0 0.249999 the night keeps on going now this is approximately 0 0.25 which is the same as 1 over 4 but what you are going to do is you are going to find the left limit if it is equal to 1 over 4 then you see the limit of this function is 1 over 4 so in this case let's take a number very close to 2 from the left side that can be 1.999 it is very it is less than 2 but very close to 2 so this is what you are going to do you take your calculator and where the 2.001 was you clear it and you put 1.9999 so 1.9999 so 1.999 then you come down you also put 1.99 down One point nine nine nine. 1999 what are you getting we are getting 0 so for 1.99 we are getting 0 0.25 exactly 0 0.25 from this you can see that the limit of the first one is equal to 1 over 4 or 0 0.25 you can solve it by you applying the conjugate method. So the limit is 1 over 4. This is how you can do it on the calculator simply. Let's quickly go to the next one. In this one, you have 3 over x minus 2 all squared. If I'm to put 2 here, it will be indeterminate. So let's see how the calculator can be used to solve this perfectly. First, I said you take 2 plus the right side, any number greater than 2, but very close to 2. So you have 3 over the expression, open bracket, 2.0001, 0001, then minus 2, all squared. And I'm getting 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 zeros, meaning it's approaching positive infinity, very huge number. Then we go to the left side. 
on the left side of 2 you can have 1.9999 very close to 2 so when you delete the 2.0001 you make it 1.9999 then that is also giving us a huge number and that's also positive infinity therefore the limit of this one is simply equal to positive infinity now let's see the third question i have here as i have here i'm going to have one over the expression x squared but it's approaching zero so on the right of zero as we've been doing i'll have 0 0.0 0 0.00001 then all squared and that is also going to give me one times 10 to the power 10 which is also positive infinity it's very huge then i try the left side which is going to be the left side of zero is going to be when you have zero moving on the left side what will it be are you going to you're going to get a negative number so we can get something like negative zero point zero point zero 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 one yes so once you get something like this you put we get tag, a huge number so therefore that is also equal to positive infinity and hence 1 over s squared will also give us positive infinity when s approaches 0 finally our last problem we have here you have the expression x minus 2 all squared so here it's approaching positive infinity it's a, i mean as it's approaching infinity here so let's take the positive infinity side so when you want to choose a number for positive infinity, you are going to choose a huge number. You just be pressing a calculator. But make sure that the number you choose for the top, the same number should be used for the down x. That is, you choose a specific x. Hence, choose a number you can recall easily. So let's say you take 8 and 4 zeros. Then you rank minus 2, all squared. All over 2 open brackets, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4 close brackets minus 3 and that is giving us 39998.75 which is a huge number let's add more zeros to it and see the effect let's add two extra zeros to it and let's see the effect if it's going to still increase so one two and i'm going to get a huge number 3999 nine nine does it so this is positive infinity then i go again for the left side that is negative infinity you choose you can even negate this one for the negative infinity that is negative eight million so for the negative you just negate it negative infinity like that and let's see we are going to get negative Four zero 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 negative four zero zero zero. So let's see from here. Let's choose another negative number, which is small. So negative infinity should be very very small. So let's choose a number like zero negative zero point zero 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 one. Then let's choose down here the same thing. Negative zero point. So I choose one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. One. Then I press equal to. I'm getting negative one point three three. So that means it will give us negative infinity. Therefore, since positive infinity is not equal to negative infinity this limit does not exist you just confirm that doesn't exist this is the end of our video thanks for joining just practice with your calculator and don't forget to like share and also subscribe